So Donald, what's your favorite Italian dish? I have to say a good carbonara. Well, mine is a creamy, decadent chicken alfredo. That sounds good. Right? Mm. Guys, I am so excited that we have Donald Skian here from his YouTube channel. You guys know him from his blog, Home Cooked Kitchen. And I'm excited because we are making an Italian feast mm -hmm. full of amore. The grande amore. Yes. Fantastico. Yes. So we're going to make a guilt-free fettuccine alfredo. Ooh, that sounds tasty. And this is guilt-free? This is guilt-free. OK, because I think chicken alfredo, I think heavy, creamy yes. sauce. So you you got to prove this to I me. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> OK, so how do we get started? OK, so we have our boiling water. OK. And it should be nice and salted. Ta-da! Awesome. Now we're steamy. just going to put one pound of fettuccine noodles in there. OK, but well, we do a, a nice little bit of a twist and a poop. Did you like that? Are you kidding? That was <laughs> awesome. What about those guys? Oh, yeah, okay. those guys. Donald, you can also make this even more guilt free by using whole wheat pasta or even like zoodles, zucchini noodles. Nice. Do I you am like obsessed this? with spiralizing. And around this time of year, it's kind of like you're getting into the healthy mode. So we'll let that boil. And it's going to cook for about 10 minutes, 12 minutes until al dente. Yes, but I have a secret for you. For adding extra flavor, you can actually add chopped garlic to the boiling water and let those noodles infuse with garlic flavor. You put the Dump garlic in, in the water? Yeah. It's clever. I like it. Give it a little stir, Give it a quick maybe. stir, okay, mix it through. But Donald, here's the thing. For me, I don't want to sacrifice flavor mm. just because it's guilt-free. You've got to go for the flavor. If you're going to eat healthy, it is one of those things you don't want to It's got to taste it's good, gotta guys. It's got to be delicious. So what's next? Well, I don't know if you noticed this little guy looking at you. Yeah, a nice big dollop of cream. I don't think so. This is one of the secret ingredients, yogurt. Yogurt. Now, you could also use Greek yogurt because it has that nice tartness to it, mm -hmm. but this is just regular, unflavored yogurt. Clearly not the classic addition to Alfredo. Nor right. do you think cream, a heavy, thick sauce, but this is going to be light and slightly tart with well, you know, the thing. acidity this in there. Well, here's is really going to pay off because it's going to give us that creamy consistency without all the calories. Okay. And don't forget, we're not going to sacrifice on the cheese. We'll add cheese at the end. I am so glad you said that. Let's give this some flavor. So I just have a little bit of salt, Italian seasoning. And what do you think about adding a little heat to this sauce? Oh, I'm all on board with a bit of heat. So this all goes into the yogurt. Yep, and we're just going to give it a little stir. And this is it. Like, that. That's your sauce. Not only is this guilt-free, but it's a one-pot recipe. So as soon as our noodles are done, we're just putting the sauce back in there. And this is, I mean, I hate doing dishes. Randy, you are I don't want to ruin my genius. manicure. You are a genius. You're doing one pan dishes. You've got the sauces. You've got the healthy thing going on. You've got it all going on. It's the new year. It's Speaking new. of New Year's, yeah. what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to do more yoga. Yeah, yoga. you heard it. I know. I'm actually moving to LA, and Yay. I really, really love yoga, and I feel like LA is the place to do more yoga. So, what is your New Year's resolution? Okay, every year for probably the past 10 years, my resolution has stayed the same to be more patient. Be more patient? Are you I not have, a patient person? I have no patience. That's why I love this recipe because literally all you're waiting for is the pasta. And this is really one of my favorite dishes. Um, what's one of your favorite recipes or maybe one of your favorite videos on your channel? On my channel it's all home cooking, very easy recipes, but I, I love dirty food as much as I like healthy yeah. food. So I like a bit of naughty and nice and my favorite kind of naughty stuff is um, sriracha chicken wings. Oh. So you bake them until they're really crispy and then you toss them in this kind of buttery sriracha sauce with like chili and ginger and garlic and it's Awesome. That would be perfect for tailgating. Okay, what, what is tailgating? Oh my gosh, okay, welcome to America. Right. Tailgating is like my favorite pastime. You go to the parking lot, you park in the parking lot, you set up like a camp, like a home base. Okay. And it's where you can grill and have food and talk smack to the other team. Right, so why don't you it's just watch? It's very American. You don't watch from home? You can't, no? No, okay, no, don't do that. Oh my God, no. you're making my eye twitch. <laughs> I love going to basketball <laughs> games and football games and rooting on my team. Sometimes I paint my my face. I've been known to growl. Okay, okay. I, I feel this is all a loss very okay. soon. When you and your wife move to LA, <laughs> we're going to a game. Let's do it. Go, go, yes. go, sports team. Yay. <laughs> all right, it looks like our noodles are almost done. They look good. They look good. And it's starting to smell. I'm getting the mm. garlic going on. We've got this lovely sauce happening. Yeah. Will I drain these off for you? Yep. Okay. Beautiful pasta. Okay, so since our noodles are still hot, our pan's still warm, mm -hmm. we're actually going to add some butter. I 
like where this is going. Okay, yeah. so what's next? I mean, we literally only have a couple steps left. Are you ready? We're gonna add our sauce. Okay, and we've got all that lovely flavor in there. And then if you could just uh, coat our noodles. Okay, I am actually really surprised at how beautifully that is coming together. It right? smells so wonderful, okay. Well, we're not done yet. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. Okay. Some pepper. Nice. And then my secret ingredient. Okay. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. I just think nutmeg makes everything taste just homemade. Mm -hmm. It kind of deepens the flavor. And you know, it kind of has that, mm. that thing about the holidays. I mean, it just kind of warms things mm. up. Are there any secret spices or ingredients that you like? I am obsessed with spiciness. So I do love a bit of uh, a combination of cayenne pepper and smoked paprika or paprika. Ooh. How do you say it? Paprika. Paprika. Paprika, paprika. paprika. Pap, 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 Whatever. Pap. Tomato, tomato. All right. Now, if you wouldn't mind grating about half a cup of cheese in there. Okie doke. This, this is, is Parmigiano Reggiano. Molto bellissimo. Okay. This is. Really, this is looking pretty good. Here's the thing, this is kid approved. My nephews don't know the difference and they love it. It looks so super. And you know what? That's With that looking Parmesan awesome. cheese in there, wow. And I love the fact that these are mostly store covered ingredients, like little spices, little touches, and then you bring it together in a very simple This is pasta. honestly something that you can make last minute. Mm -hmm. If you could help me mm -hmm. plate the pasta. Beautiful. I'm going for a little kind yes, of pasta twistiness. Yes, I love that twistiness. twist look. Okay, okay. fantastic. Literally, this is it. Or That's do you add, it. can you add a little bit of chicken or anything in there? That's so funny. I knew you were gonna say that because you're like me, you like to eat. Mm -hmm. I have some grilled chicken. Beautiful. And so this is something you can do ahead of time. So you could have your grilled chicken ready to go and then you just add it to your nice little bit of pasta. Happy days. Yeah, so you okay. could just kind of lay a couple pieces. Okay, and I suppose like with a dish like this that's quite heavy, it's that lovely fresh hit of parsley over the top. Okay, now I cannot wait for you to try this. I'm, I'm intrigued, I have to say I'm intrigued. I'm a bit skeptical, but I am really excited. Okay, right, let's dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Mm. Wow, mm. that is really good. Because you have the, the yogurt in there, you get this lovely acidity, mm -hmm. but you have that fantastic spice in there from the, the black pepper, and then oh. that lovely kind of background noise of the nutmeg, which is gorgeous. I'm glad you could try that. So you liked this, you're no longer a skeptic? I am so impressed. I never thought you could do a lighter pasta Alfredo, and this is fantastic, full of flavor and deliciousness. Well, I love that you loved this recipe. I know you guys are gonna love it too. And if you enjoyed watching us together on camera, head on over to Donald's channel, where we made harissa eggs. Harissa eggs. It's beautiful. <laughs> and don't forget if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. Head to his channel, subscribe there too. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Ooh, yes, some more as well. Enjoy.